It seems the ruling APC might lose by Elsa State also, hmm. because the High Court has said uh, that this election, uh, it's, uh, well, it has annulled its primary elections. Apparently, there has been some form of trouble in paradise. And the men of the Nigeria Customs Service have been accused of extrajudicial killings in the towns of Ogun State borders. This is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. It was Rivers and Zamfara states in February, and now it looks like it's the turn of Bielsa state to be found wanting in fielding a candidate for the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. The Federal High Court sitting in the state capital, Yenigua, had annulled the direct primary conducted by the All Progressive Congress's uh, APC that produced Chief David Leon as the governorship candidate of the party. Now, this means that the party has no candidate in the elections that is supposed to take place in a couple of days. The Electoral Commission, while reacting to this new development, had said the election will go on despite the disqualification of the APC candidate. And joining me in the studio to discuss this is a legal practitioner, Noble Obasi. Thank you very much, Noble, for joining us. Thank you very much. So, it seems like the APC keeps making the same mistakes over and over again. And this has come to light because a certain Heineken Lokbobri took this case to court, citing the irregularities in the conduct of the primaries. Uh, from a legal perspective, play this out for us. Okay, so um, what the courts uh, have just said is that APC cannot field any candidates for the election. So it's it's not it's 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 not a strange it's not a strange occurrence in the Nigeria political scenario because uh, way back as early as uh, I think in uh, uh, during the is it the fourth or the fifth fifth republic they are, they are, uh, uh, during the fourth or the fifth republic okay so in Imo State at some point PDP there was a time in Imo State at some point where PDP uh, said that they would not field any candidate and as a result of that I think uh, PPA that's a former governor Ikedo Hakim won the election and coming uh, closer to uh, our time now uh, last during this uh, election during this past election we saw Zamfara State you know where the court um, held similar ruling that uh, APC has uh, no candidate for the election and also River State as well so from my own point of view I think uh, most of the elections, uh, most of those uh, rulings were they, they, they were an aftershoot, an aftershoot of um, uh, party members, say APC party members who were perhaps going to court to lay their grievances for the party not picking them as a preferred candidate. And what we saw that played out this afternoon at um, Massa State is not is not is not strange. It's not it's not strange to the Nigerian. Yes, politics. it's not strange, but you see. If something like this has happened, I mean, we're supposed to learn from yes. the mistakes of the past, especially exactly. if it cost us dearly. Yes. And it doesn't, us, I'm losing the word, I'm using the word us loosely here because I have no business with the APC, but in the, in, in the case of the APC, the same drag happened to make them lose Rivers and Zamfara. When this whole situation started, couldn't the party or maybe the National Working Committee intervene instead of allowing it to cost them yet another election. To be honest with you, I mean, there's a popular saying that once beaten twice shall. But APC has been beating countless times on this issue and they still uh, haven't learned. And it's so shocking, it's so shocking for me that they've not really corrected you know, that mistake and they're allowing the other parties to you know, exploit the situation and coast to victory. Because does, does this does this also show that the cracks in within the party has gone beyond uh, um, 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 uh, being amended? You know, being mended rather. I, is it is this showing that the party is breaking down for this to keep happening? Okay, over you and mean over? For, for if it's showing that the APC is kind of break? Oh well, I wouldn't I wouldn't say um, the party is, is breaking down because of uh, this issue, because it's an isolated issue on its own. Is even it? though, Yes, even though it's, it's, it's an isolated issue in the sense that it borders on a particular uh, governorship candidate in a state. So, well, in a way, it would 
uh, kind of um, have some overreaching consequences on the general body. But but then again, uh, APC um, APC has not really. I don't. They, they, they've not. They, they, they've not really learned. So I would imagine that the APC should perhaps go back to the drawing board this time around, because. There's going to be election pretty soon in Anambra states, I think next year. And APC, APC would uh, likely would field candidates. I think this is a clarion call for them to go back to the drawing board and uh, look in one day how they would not Talking wow, about the drawing board, this. we've had elections were in March and April. Yes. They were supposed to be February and March, but the March up until now, we're in November. The year's ending in a month's time. Yes. There was a drawing board. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they go back to it? Again, if there's too many people in the party who are in disagreement, and half the time all of these cases are thrown out because they're not, or these primaries were not conducted in a, accordance to the party's constitution. So I'm wondering, if you are a member of the party, why do you not stick by the constitution to save yourself all of these consequences? Okay, first of all, so your, your first question about why didn't they go back to the drawing board? So I, I, I wouldn't think that APC would imagine that they would get to this particular you know, scenario playing out again repeatedly. And uh, secondly, uh, a political party is uh, a conglomeration of individuals with different idiosyncrasies. They have their different opinions, regardless of the fact that all of them find themselves in the same political party. I mean, what A would prefer or what A would find valuable or what would be a, A's core value might not necessarily be, might not necessarily be what would be B, B core, core values. So an average politician, an average Nigerian politician, uh, uh, I mean, an average Nigerian politician is someone who wants to do things by himself. And it's be, it but you're not an independent, party. and even, in, even independents have uh, people that they work with. So you cannot be isolated when you are a member of a body, exactly, which is yes. a political party that has rules and regulations and guidelines. Exactly. So I'm coming here. So it behoves on the, on, on the party this time around, because the party is supposed to see these things. It, it's, it's an organization. It's, it's an association. It has laid down rules and regulations. So if there are individuals, quit you, because rules and regulations are not just broken just in split seconds. You know, there would have been cracks, there would have been issues, there would have been uh, perhaps uh, uh, um, signs, you know, that would show that, oh, this thing would happen. I mean, they ought to have, they ought to have you know, taken care of those signs before it's materialized to this. Okay, see, for example, what is happening in uh, those states. They're having cracks. Although I'm yet to, I'm yet to see PDP. I, mean, I, I, I don't think, I, don't, I wouldn't know, because I've, I've tried, you know, looking out for the whether Edo said as a PDP candidate, I'm, I'm here to see a, a, a PDP candidate. But if what is playing out in Edo State at this point in time, if there is a credible PDP candidate, I'm afraid that candidate might exploit those cracks in APC and might cause to victory in Edo State. All right, we'll take a short break. And when we come back, uh, we'll be joined by another of my guests, Dr. Larry Bibi. He's just standing by at the corner. And we'll continue this conversation. Stay tuned.